Toronto. We saw West Brom get the result yesterday, get a draw against Man City. Big moment for Slavin Bilic, but clearly this was a decision that was made before that. We were talking about this yesterday, Tim. The situation that they were in, that Slavin Bilic was in, it's not all on him. Mm -hmm. Slavin Bilic is a good manager. Never liked to see uh, a manager get sacked, lose their job. There was clearly some disconnect between him um, and not only the board, but actually the ownership group. There's a long way to go in this season, and, and they're fighting. They're, they're picking up points here and there. Um, they're, not, they're, they're right in the thick of this, this relegation fight. I'm surprised to see him go, but because of the, the turmoil you hear internally, um, again, then, then again, not surprised. I, I just, it's, not all, it's not, not all on him. They recruited last year to get out of the, out of the championship, second division uh, in England, and the players they bought were championship players. And so, therefore, when you go into the Premier League and, and, you're, and you're already talent-wise below standard, this, is gonna, this, this can't all be on Slavin Bilic. Yeah, I just don't like it. I mean, a good manager that's popular, Tim, mm -hmm. popular with the fans, with the supporters, hasn't been given the funds to strengthen this squad adequately to have a real shot of staying in the division. Dean Garner was added for some money, but was still there last year. Carlin Grant is a new striker that they did bring in. But even so, it's still not a big amount of money. They're two points from safety. There's 25 games left. I mean, it's, you know, the, the, the fans enjoy the way that he plays his football and the style and what they're trying to do. He's trying to figure it out like they all are down there. Scott Parker's making changes to personnel and systems, trying to find a formula. Slavin Bilic is in the middle of that as well. And I understand it, Tim, and now it's confirmed that Big Sam is amazing. The amount of times we've said Big yeah. Sam's coming in is amazing. <laughs> but he is coming again. He's never been relegated. He has done it before at Sun and Crystal Palace where he's done the right things to let them stay up. I just, I just don't know, Tim, with this squad, mm. whether this time... I don't know whether he will keep them up because it's, it's, a, it's a different sort of squad that was built for being expansive to playing yeah. football. But that is all going to change instantly. If you have this level of players and you're not spending, do you have to play a style like we saw yesterday mm -hmm. against Man City? And do you have to play that game in, game out, which would seem to lend itself to Sam Allen? Well, it's what, it's what Robbie's saying. This is going to be, we're, we're going to see pragmatic football. Don't give the ball away in your own half. Mm -hmm. Get it up to the front. How many penalty area entries can we... Uh, can we make? And then ultimately you win games by not conceding goals because the ball's not in your end. It's ugly. I've played against it. It's miserable, but it works. And it's sad because obviously West, the West Brom fans would want attractive football. They're not going to want that. And, and it's short term. It's a short term plan because the ownership group wants to stay in the league. They're not really maybe worried about sell, the fans. Maybe to sell the club, by the way. It was talking about selling the club before. And maybe this is all desperation. We want to be a Premier League club of to, to make my chance of selling it. More optimistic. I just think longer term, Tim. Don't don't West Bram fans think about longer term. Yes. Do they? Do they? I, want, I just wonder. Be fascinating. Do they really, really want to at all costs with a different manager? They, they've blown that up now, and, and a new guy comes in, and the football's going to be different. I'm not sure what happens in this season if they stay up or not. With Big Sam, is he going to stay there? 18 month contract, but who knows? I just think sometimes there's a little bit more desire for some longevity and some longer-term planning. Yes, and, and sadly, Everton brought him in as well. But it was it was to keep them afloat for six months, keep them in the Premier League, and then they went out and got Angelotti, and now they're seeing the results of that and, mm. and reaping the benefits. So it can work. Yeah. Final thought. If the goal is purely just to stay up, are they better off with Allardyce than they were with Bilge? <sighs> Probably, because the pragmatism has worked in the past, and he's good at it. I just, I just think this time might be one, one club too many. Yes, they'll stay up with Sam for sure. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe. Make sure you subscribe to watch highlights all season long and always join us every weekend at 7am on NBCSN for Premier League mornings. Plus, make sure you subscribe to Peacock Premium as well where you can watch exclusively live 175 games and same day on-demand replays of all 380 Premier League matches as well.